Hey everybody and welcome back to another video. Today I want to take a quick look at Hungry SR4, which has been in Destiny 2 for a while now, but was very recently added back into the Nightfall loot pool and updated with new perks, so I feel like we should do a 2023 version of taking a look at this weapon. Hung Jury specifically has been around a very long time. It was a favorite of many people in Destiny 1, and that role is still pretty much available. You can do something like Rapid Hit and Firefly to recreate something very similar to the Destiny 1 role. But I want to look at some of the new stuff you can get on this specifically. And as always, before we get started, my Twitch is linked down below if you ever want to catch some streams. I did have some Hung Jury farming going on over there recently this week, so if you're interested, go check that out. Also, next week, we'll be having some of the new single-player games I'm going to do some streams for over there, so if you don't want to miss that, come take a look. Without any further ado, let's get into it. So, the first thing I want to address is the main reason I'm making this video, and that's just going to be that you can farm Hung Jury super easily this week. As of the uploading of this video, Hung Jury is currently the Nightfall reward, and we have double Nightfall rewards enabled. Keep in mind, if you get Platinum rewards in a Grandmaster difficulty Nightfall, you're guaranteed an Adept drop of the Nightfall weapon, and because it's double rewards, that'll be double to two drops of the Adept Nightfall weapon this week. And another thing to think about is Nightfall Adepts, while not a massive upgrade over their normal counterparts, have the advantage of dropping with an additional third column perk, and as a result, you may not have to do as much farming to try and get the role you're looking for. Proving Grounds is also the current Nightfall, and it's considered to be one of the easier ones this time around, so I'd say go farm it this weekend. Most of the LFG groups I've seen have been able to get it done pretty easily. Now as for what perks specifically you should be farming for, I usually do try to focus on a few sets of perks that are really strong, but for this video, I think I want to more closely highlight a specific role that I think is super strong right now. So for the general perks, I'd say that any combination of Rapid Hit, Surplus, Subsistence, and then either Firefly Frenzy or Kinetic Tremors is going to be best. I don't think I need to explain any of these perks there, other than the new one in this list, which is Kinetic Tremors. So in Season 20, Bungie has added Kinetic Tremors as a unique perk for Kinetic Weapons in response to their overall lackluster performance compared to Elemental Weapons over the last couple of years, uh, mostly due to not being able to break shields, and now the Subclass 3.0 perks that Elemental Weapons have gotten, like Incandescent and Volt Shot. While the perk itself is pretty basic, it has some great damage potential and there's some very interesting things you can do with it that we'll talk about. But before we look at those utility interactions, I do just want to take a quick look at the damage for Hung Jury, because I do actually think it's really good. Quick disclaimer on the test you're about to see here, I don't know for sure if the test will hold true for other weapons or if the damage of the kinetic tremors is determined by the archetype of the weapon that you're using, so these numbers may end up being specific to Hung Jury, or it may hold true for other weapons like Nameless Midnight, Battle Scar, and Buzzard, but I do just want to highlight that these are specifically all tested with a Hung Jury. I also tested this against the Nessus Lost Sector Colossus mini-boss, because even though it is a mini-boss that doesn't give very good consistent damage values when talking about boss DPS, it doesn't really matter for the sake of this test, just because this test is going to be focused on the general output of the perk against normal enemies, not bosses, so this potential difference in damage values doesn't really matter. So against this mini-boss, you're going to see Kinetic Tremors pop after 6 shots. Does not matter whether they're headshots or body shots, it should just be 6 shots to pop Kinetic Tremors, and then you'll have 3 waves pop for 9,774 damage each, which is going to total 29,322 damage across all 3 waves, which is actually quite a lot considering that the normal scout rifle damage per shot was doing about 3,094 damage per body shot, so it's a pretty good increase. The other important thing to know here is that your kinetic damage shots can't start building up again until after all three of your kinetic tremors have hit, so even though the uptime is high, you won't be able to put it to a full 100% on any given target, but you can get it very close. You'll just have to start from zero back up to six after the third wave goes off. The other thing I want to note is that the tremor damage from this quick test is for the epicenter of the shockwaves. The damage towards the edges does appear to be lower, but it's still quite nice for just how large the AoE is on this perk. It's about a 5 meter radius, so 10 meter diameter circle. I also think kinetic tremors could be used very well with any of your standard reload perks like surplus or rapid hit, which are both options on Hung Jury. And I definitely think that rapid hit is better than surplus here, but there is a specific perk on Hung Jury that I think is best, and that perk is surprisingly going to be shoot to loot. You see, shoot to loot has been back in Destiny 2 since Season of the Lost, but beyond a now fixed, bugged interaction on its release that lets you get a larger magazine when using overflow and shoot to loot, it's not really been a perk that anybody's wanted to use. It hasn't really had a chance to shine since they fixed that one bug. 
The previous issue that Shoot to Loot always had was that activating it was kind of tricky because you'd have to try and shoot ammo crates, which you might not be able to do during combat. And aim assist doesn't really work on the ammo crates, so you also have to try and find them while you're looking at them, which can be tough during an intense combat encounter. However, Kinetic Tremor solves all of those problems since the 5 meter radius of the shockwaves is able to activate Shoot to Loot if a ammo brick happens to fall in that 5 meter radius and it'll just pick up the ammo for you and reload your weapons. And also, since the tremors can keep going off even if you get a kill on the target that you activated the tremors on, you can pick up the ammo before it even has a chance to get knocked off the map. Shoot to Loot will also reload all your weapons from reserves when it activates, which can definitely ease the opportunity costs for taking Shoot to Loot over a traditional reload perk like Rapid Hit. The only other weapon in the game capable of this specific perk combination is actually the Battlescar Pulse Rifle, but Battlescar needs 12 hits, or 4 bursts of hitting all of your shots, in order to activate Kinetic Tremors, while Hung Jury only needs 6 shots. So Hung Jury definitely has an easier time making Kinetic Tremors work. Buzzard and Nameless Midnight are also both able to get Kinetic Tremors, I believe they're the only other two weapons that can right now, but they are not able to get Shoot to Loot, so there's less synergy there, although their rolls with Tremors don't seem too terrible either, so could be good in the future if you decide to do Kinetic Tremors without Shoot to Loot. And all that brings me back to why I think Hung Jury specifically is so good. Because we just looked at its ammo gathering capability, which I think is probably the best ammo grabbing tool in the whole game, since there's not really any other ammo collecting tool accessible other than shoot to loot and then some kind of perk to expand its radius for catching ammo. And like I mentioned, I think Kinetic Tremors is the best tool for doing that. And the damage on Kinetic Tremors is also really solid as well. And I've used my Hung Jury with Shoot to Loot Kinetic Trimmers in a few GMs since I got it, and I think it's also super good for dealing with tight clusters of enemies because of the Kinetic Trimmers. This week especially, with Proving Grounds being the GM where you have exploding barrels in certain sections, you can actually get Kinetic Trimmers to set off chain explosions on the exploding barrels in order to wipe out larger groups of enemies very, very easily. The damage by itself on the Kinetic Trimmers is still pretty high for a primary weapon, and I'm pretty sure that only exotics would really be able to directly compete with the raw damage output against normal enemies, but with Hung Jury, you don't have to sacrifice your exotic slot, so you could put an exotic weapon somewhere else if you'd like. And you also get really good utility as well as good damage out of a legendary weapon, which is not super common all the time. Usually it's just good damage or good utility, and getting both can be pretty difficult. Hung Jury also has the awesome bonus of being a Vanguard weapon, a Nightfall weapon, and an Almalon weapon all at the same time, so it has three different origin traits to choose from. For the Grandmasters I was running, I did Stunning Recovery since the healing is super solid and we have an anti-champion scout rifle mod this season, but outside of champion-based content, I think that Vanguard's Vindication is probably the best one since the kills from Kinetic Trimmers can pop the healing on that origin perk, and if you catch a lot of adds in the shockwaves, you can really easily get most of your health back for free. Keep in mind that I also wrote and tested this video before the primary weapon buff of the mid-season patch, which I believe is due to arrive on April 18th, so it'll only be improving the damage in the course of the near future. Scout Rifles are getting a 10% buff, which is less than all the other primary weapons are getting, but it's still a buff, not a nerf, so it will be stronger than it is now. And that's all I have for you all today, so if you liked the video, then a like and share are always hugely appreciated. And if you're interested in seeing some more from me in the future, then please feel free to subscribe. My Twitch is also linked down below if you want to catch some streams. I have my Twitter down below as well. I do use it occasionally. I don't a ton, but you know, you can see my ramblings on there if you want. And I'm going to be streaming some Destiny as well as some Mage Seeker next week. And then after that, I'll have some Star Wars Jedi Survivor and Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom over on Twitch. Good luck on your hung jury rolls this weekend, everybody. I will see you guys later.